morning guys so i've got a shoot today which i'm currently getting ready for it's in london just with my management it's just for a few new images for them to have but i thought it would be fun to show you the hair and makeup i do for a shoot and I'll show you how noisy it is outside my window so i've already moisturized my face and i don't really like using bases that much sometimes i will use um strobe cream but I think today I'm just going to keep it to the very minimum and I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream and this stuff I use every single day. <laughs> it has factor 50 in it so I just always feel a bit more comfortable wearing it because I know skin will be fine and protected. <laughs> I have actually also really been enjoying the Bare Minerals Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade Opal. Which I think is the lightest shade. Um, so I just make sure I take this down my neck with any excess and then I just spread it around my face. Then for concealer I'm going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I've been trying this out over the last few days which is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer <laughs> in the shade 320 but I think this is actually too light for me, which is just, that's never happened. But I'm not using that today because it's not quite surpassed how much I like this one yet. So when I have a shoot, I do tend to put a bit more concealer on than usual, especially if I've got to travel into London. A nice big hill that I have to walk up to to get to the station and get very sweaty. I'm going to set that all into place with IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I'm just using a reasonably small brush and I'm just going to go under the eyes first. Okay, this next step is one I often miss out in my normal routine, um, but it's to contour and I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder in the shade medium. I really wish this was in the shade light, but I couldn't find it online, which was very annoying, but I still really love this stuff. So I'm just going to do a really subtle contour. Next up is bronzer, and I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Love this stuff. I actually finished one the other day, which is the first Benefit box product I've ever finished, and it was a momentous moment. <laughs> but I love to really bronze up the face. Because um, I am obviously very pale. <laughs> I have got a little bit of tinted um, like tanning moisturiser on my body so I kind of need to match it up anyway. And then I'll take it onto my chest because I won't know what I'll be wearing that day shooting I'll probably be changing some might have lower necklines than others onto my favorite part which is blush and I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown um, cream blush in the shade powder pink this looks like this kind of goes on quite different onto the cheeks but I'm just using this little real techniques um, setting brush just to pop that on my cheeks And I take it sort of all the way up into my eyebrow. I just really like that look of like overloaded blusher. And it looks quite scary right now, but I like to take my foundation brush and just sort of blend the edges out a bit. Um, and it looks fine once I have the rest of my makeup on. And then before I blend this out, I'll use the rest that's on the brush and I'll put it just a tiny bit in the centre of my nose. It seems a bit weird but it ties it all together in really nicely and just gives that sort of sun-kissed look. Highlighter I go between two different products, um, the Mary Lou by the Balm and then these L'Oreal highlighting drops. I really don't know which one I want to do today. I might stick to the powder. Uh, I'm just going to use this little Real Techniques brush and just pack it on.
Now I put a little bit on my nose and the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow and a tiny bit on my chin. Kind of wanted to do a little bit of a soapy brow first. This is the Pez. I'm just gonna use my Pez soap. And I've just wet the brush and I'm just gonna rub it in the soap for a bit. And then I'm just gonna stick my eyebrows in. And then with the little spoolie, I'm just gonna brush them up even more. I think I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil. So I always fill in from underneath first, and then I'll go and do the top. So once I've got them filled in enough, I go in with the Benefit 24 hour brow set. And I just set them exactly where I want them to go. <laughs> Moving on to eyes, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of concealer on the top of my eyelids. Because I have a lot of veins on my eyelids. It also acts as a really good base, I find, for eyeshadow to stick to. I'm just going to do my go-to eye look, so I'm going to use the Balm Nude Beach Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Brilliant first, which is up here, and I'm um, just going to pop that in, in the corner, and then with a slightly more dense brush, I'm going to take the shade Bold, which is a really lovely sort of mid-tone brown. And I'm just going to put this on the outside of my eyelid. I'm going to take that same colour underneath my eyelash line. And then on an even smaller brush, I'll take Bizarre, which is a dark brown. And this will act as my eyeliner. So I just put it really close to my lash line. And then with a fluffy brush, I'll just blend that out. I'm now going to give my lashes a good curl. And then my favourite mascara at the moment is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Lips, I'm not going to worry about too much just yet because I have to have breakfast still and probably brush my teeth again before I go um, but I'm just going to need a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm going to put a little bit of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream on my lips just on top of that. And then, last step is the setting spray. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is the finished makeup look. Now, to tackle the hair. Moving on to hair, I'm just heating up my hair straighteners. <clears throat> Using the Remington Shine Therapy ones. These have lasted me so long. And I'm just going to brush through my hair first. It's freshly washed last night and I just let it air dry overnight and then I'm going to take the first section right underneath and then I'm going to spray some of my Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray so I'm going for like a curly straight look if that makes sense so I'm just going to give it a rough straighten first make sure the ends are nice and straight and then I'm going to take smaller sections and I'm going to curl it until I get to about here and then I just straighten it back out. And I do all of the segments going away from my face. I'm going to spray it a tiny bit with hairspray just so it 
sets. Whilst we do the rest of the hair. Okay, I've now curled everything. I'm just gonna give it a good spray with hairspray. Obviously it's not staying like this. And then with my brush, I'm just gonna break up the curls. I'm now gonna add a load more hairspray. Um, and then go and have breakfast and come back and fix it. I'm gonna go and have breakfast. I'm just gonna twist it up at the back. Put a clip in it so it stays nice and curled for a bit longer. Okay, I have my suitcase packed full of outfits and I'm wearing this little tank top from Brandy Melville. I also have on some weekday jeans. It's just looked like this. And then I've got on my Nike Air Force Ones, as always. <laughs> so yeah, that is my outfit for today. I also have a little long sleeve black crop top jumper that I'm gonna take if it's a bit chilly. So I'm gonna take you guys to London with me now and I'll see you when I get there. I'm always so pooper scooped when I come back from London. <laughs> Had a really nice shoot with Katie though, and got some behind the scenes footage. So I hope you enjoy that. But yeah, I'm gonna have a shower now, get into some comfy clothes, and probably watch Love Island. But yeah, really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you did, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! Thank you.